She's only 21, but Taylor Cook is already running her own company. The Frankfurt native is the CEO of Taylor Bell's Ice Cream, named after Taylor and her sister Annabelle. Taylor started selling her homemade flavors in her community. Now the farm fresh hand dipped ice cream is sold across the bluegrass state from Rupp Arena to the Kentucky State Fair. The long road to success is sweet for Taylor Cook. It started when I was 15 and I was in um, Anderson County High School at the time and um, I wanted to be in the FFA program. So with the FFA program, you have to have an SAE project. So I went to my parents and I was like, hey, my dream as a little girl was to have my own ice cream business. So I told him, I was like, hey, I have to have an SAE project um, and this is what I want to do. And um, they thought I was crazy at the time because a 50 year, 15 year old wanted to start a business. So um, then they, my dad helped me um, start everything up. Um, I started with just a trailer, plain trailer you can get out of like a lot. And I put the insulation in it, the electric in it, everything that to make it a food truck. And so that's how it all started. And then I just started going to like festivals around town. Um, my very first festival was the summer concert series in Frankfurt. And then um, after that, um, it just kind of started, my name started getting out there and it started building and building. And here we are now, six years later, and it's my full-time job. <laughs> That is incredible that you were able to start this when you were only 15. So, you know, what has it been like from then until now, six years later? What, you know, what were some of the roadblocks along the way and how were you able to overcome them? One, like, major thing is health department, just because you have to have all the inspections, all the everything that you have to go through. So um, with that, um, taking the trailers to get those inspected to make sure that everything is to code was a really big, like, obstacle that you have to go through because um, I had to take it and then some things weren't right. So I had to take it back, fix it, and then take it back to get it a hundred percent. And then um, other things is really just getting your name out there with the new business. You know, it's really hard um, when people don't know who you are, but um, once it started getting out there and my logo is the um, ice cream cone. And then uh, with the pink to purple, it's kind of really hard to miss. So uh, once people started realizing it, now I have such a big fan base that follows me around and it's just awesome. So you're having probably a very different experience than the people that you grew up with who are your age. You know, do you feel like by, you know, being your own business person at such a young age that you missed out on things or how has your life been different because you started this at such a young age? Um, it definitely has been different. Um, some weekends that my friends are going out doing stuff, um, having bonfires or stuff like that, um, I've had to miss out on. But um, at the end of the day, I love what I do. So I'm like, it's fine. Um, I have to miss some things, but I enjoy seeing my customers. I enjoy putting smiles on people's faces. So it really doesn't bother me. But it has been different from all my friends going out, having, you know, like, just part-time jobs and I'm running a business. So it is different, but I have really supportive friends that um, help me out when I need it or um, when I just need a pat on the back when I'm having a bad day. So they've really been there to help me and boost me and make sure I keep going. You have been able to grow your business very significantly. So what are your goals? What haven't you done that you would like to be able to do in the future? Everything that I have imagined it would be, it's even more just because like I just expected this to be just part time taking my trailer out. And now I'm in places that I never expected, um, like Rupp Arena. I never expected to be in Rupp Arena before. Um, Kroger Field, um, I've gotten to do like go to places that I wouldn't get to if I didn't have Taylor Bills. So it's really been just awesome, honestly. Taylor, there may be people watching this who have a good idea or who would like to start their own business. What lessons have you learned? What advice would you have to people about if they want to follow their dreams like you did? Definitely go for it. It is definitely a great thing to do. Um, being your own boss is really cool. Um, but it, it is hard. Um, you will want to give up, but don't just because um, it is a great feeling when you finally accomplish that. Make sure you have some supportive people along the way because, I mean, you will get down, but as long as you have those supportive people and just keep pushing and trying, you will get it.